September 14, 2001. Americans mark a day of remembrance for the victims of the September 11th attacks. In New York, President George W. Bush tours the ruins of the World Trade Center. He tells rescue workers at Ground Zero just days after the attacks that toppled the Twin Towers. I can hear you, the rest of the world hears you, and the people... Down, we'll hear all of us soon. 1901. I am leading because somebody must lead, or else the fight would not be made at all. Theodore Roosevelt becomes America's youngest president at age 43. He succeeds William McKinley, who dies more than a week after he's shot by an assassin. 1814. Francis Scott Key is inspired to write the poem whose words ultimately become the national anthem of the United States. He composes the Star Spangled Banner during the War of 1812 after witnessing the British bombardment of Fort McHenry in Maryland. 1879. Margaret Sanger, the founder of America's birth control movement, is born in Corning, New York. 1982. Princess Grace of Monaco, the former movie actress Grace Kelly, dies of injuries from a car crash the day before. She was 52 years old. 1927. Isadora Duncan, the modern dance pioneer, dies in an accident in Nice, France. She's killed when her scarf becomes entangled in the wheel of her sports car. And 1994. It's not a very happy set of circumstances for me. After all, we're in the baseball business. Baseball's acting commissioner, Bud Selig, cancels the rest of the season due to a player strike. That includes the World Series, the first October without that game in nearly 90 years. Today in history, September 14th, Tim McGuire, the Associated Press.